as far as the global cycles and the times that we're in, it's a very different age that we're moving into. So the more that you can grasp that this is what is happening and that you don't have to do anything other than follow your own decision-making strategy or strategy and authority in order to be at the right place, the right time to experience the shift that we are all a part of and that we're all carrying either the lock or the key or the receptivity to such things that we're going to be discussing today. We're all carrying this. It's coming from within us. It's not something being done to us, even though it might feel that way sometimes. So, quote, Ross says, I think a lot of beings assume that the program is out there somewhere. We get impaled by the neutrino ocean. It's how the program gets into us. And yet, there's something to grasp about us. You can see it in the body graph. So when you look at this body graph and you see this natural design of receptivity, all the receptors, we need those receptors. We are imprinted with certain specifics, but we need to have receptors to everything else. Otherwise, we cannot take part in the life process. We have receptors to the program. And so one of the things we're gonna be talking about today as far as the global shift, I gave you a video in your analyst training um, segment down here under the global cycles that would have given you some introductions through Ra's words as well as my words to the global cycles. Now we're going to go look at some more specifics about the receptivity that we have to the program and the shift, the change, the times that we are in, as well as the things that you maybe carry in your own genetic code. So have your human design chart out in front of you print is better than phone but you know ideally and take down the 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 most helpful practical thing that you're going to get come away from today is to find out whether you're a lock or a key person or both or whether you're receptive to it okay so lock key and receptivity that's your our aim for today so what Ra is actually referring to is the g center and these gates of the G center, the G center is the abode of the magnetic monopole. So he would use this beautiful little image there. So the magnetic monopole has an extraordinary function. As you know, it holds us together, as Ra would say, in the illusion of our separateness. Now this is separate from the totality and yet these gates of the G are actually what are holding us in alignment with the direction of the totality. So it's more than that. It's this thing that moves us along in our geometry. The magnetic monopole is the instrument, the ultimate instrument of the program. So here's all our G-center gates. And those G-center gates divide the mandala wheel into the eight houses, the eight great houses of the rave I Ching, as you know. And each of these gates influence every single one of those aspects through genetic continuity that lies in the couplet below the third line. Love, direction, love, direction, love, direction, love, and direction. As far as the overarching theme of these beautiful mechanisms that we are going to be exploring today. So every eight hexagrams, as you can see, the bottom three lines of the lower trigram, every eight hexagrams have that bottom three line in common. That's what's creating this genetic correlation between the gates, why they are grouped as such, why they are next to each other. So the lower trigram is the chemistry that allows the program itself to work through the gate in the G center and then filter that information to its respective house, as you can see. So when you're looking at the G center, you're looking at, it's kind of like a spider's web, everything being held together, what holds the whole thing together. And it holds the whole thing together because this is what locks us into our beingness, the direction of the program and the expression of transcendent love. 
This is what locks us in. We are locked into that program through these gates that provide the direction and transcendent love. And so when you're looking at the G center, your G center, you're looking at the lock. Your G center is a lock that holds us in place. Just like that gate two is the, or I would call it the arm of the street car that holds you along your path and in your trajectory in space, everybody having a gate to, whether you have a planetary aspect, a life aspect there or not, everybody has a gate to, everybody has a magnetic monopole. So the G center itself and its respective gates are what holds us to this program, ties us to this program. This is what holds everything into this evolutionary spiral of evolvement, of beingness in this movie, as Ra would call it. So the locks, the keys, they're all inside of us because we have receptivity to it. Some of us play roles there. We know that the G center is a role function. Yeah, then we have role gates there. It's a function of love, beingness, direction. Separate from the totality, illusion of separateness from the totality. We are actually part of it. But the body itself seeming finite, not infinite like the cosmos, this is what holds us into locked into this particular movie that we're all experiencing. Everyone has their own movie. Everyone has their own uniqueness, as you know. And the experience and expression of that moving picture, only you will know the beauty and the magic and wonderment of your movie. Only you. You are the only one that can live this movie no one else. That's why there is no comparison. Absolutely, utterly, uniquely yours, you. And you are going to be drawn to, just like they are drawn to you, choicelessly, helplessly, to the right people at the right time in alignment. And this is what we call our fractal line. So they're just waiting for you. There is no comparison. You have no comparison. There is no judgment. Everything beautifully orchestrated by this magnetic monopole. It is inside of us. What makes it so extraordinary is that it's evolutionary because it's not enough that there are locks. So here's the locks. But there's also keys. And the keys, they are the keys that are going to fit into these eight locks. Rotating keys that are unlocking one mystery after another. The cycle of the evolutionary process, the spiral of movement, keys shifting and changing in the locks that stand the test of time in the round. The cycle of planning was 1615 to 2027. 